But you know what isn't hard? Going onto AI, using AI to help make your life easier. If you're scared of AI, you're gonna get left behind. Why work harder when you can work smarter? Hi my loves, I'm Maria Fade, the Maria Fade on social media platforms, and today we are talking about AI, how I've been using ChatGPT, integrating it into my system to pretty much help me run my business as a solopreneur, how you can do it too, and why you should not be afraid of AI. Let's get into it. As a solopreneur, meaning I do everything in my business and from the post to the edits to my branding to the way I come across to my PR, I do everything. I am a solopreneur. So yes, it is hard trying to do it all by myself. And I can imagine for anybody, whether an entrepreneur or not, but you know what isn't hard? Going onto AI, using AI to help make your life easier. These are not my two favorite colors actually. And I'd opened it thinking it was mine. And that's how we got this color. You kind of working with me with my ADHD here. There is no reason for you not to be using AI. In this day and age, like all the technologists have your information at this point, to think they don't is very silly. Don't be silly. The next best thing I can tell you is I use ChatGPT for most of my content now, my content strategy, my posting strategy, my use of descriptions. I use it for a management call, everything, literally. I've been talking to prospective management. I used it for everything from research about the company that I want to talk to, to emailing about brand deals. And we all know about AI. We know that AI is always going to be part of our lives. How do we know? We've seen movies about it. Literally everything is going to be AI pretty soon. Um, if you haven't seen the reference videos on things becoming AI, check iRobot. So many. Ex Machina. Like, was that one? Was that an AI that became sentient? I think so. Anyway, there's a lot of movies about AI and a lot of them are scary. AI becomes sentient, it kills us all. Um, so technically we could be at the beginning of the end. We could be at the beginning of the end right now, but we're not here to talk about AI. I have a couple of points I'm gonna be hitting, so you will see me looking off. I don't wanna forget anything. I wanna make sure I get it all to you because I tend to ramble. So actually I have two sisters. Actually they're both content creators themselves, so I'm gonna put their description below. The advice that I would give them as an older sister is what I'm giving you. You don't need to be scared of AI. If you're scared of AI, you're gonna get left behind. But how have I been integrating ChatGPT to my business? In so many ways. Um, I've been using ChatGPT as my content planner. I pretty much type in for the day, I'm saying, you know, I am a, and I'm gonna put some of my prompts and stuff so that you guys know what I, I type so that you can know all the prompts. Like I have a collection of prompts that I've literally gathered. And I, I know what exactly I'm going through in my, in you know, as a 29 year old about to be 30, my whole goal was to become a rich woman by the time I'm 30, so I am still on that path. At least in my 30s, I'm gonna get to that goal. I know I like love the Lord and the Lord loves me. Um, because of all the things that I've learned in not just content creation, but I've learned a lot in content creation, I've learned a lot in my professional career, I've learned a lot in just like an everyday development as a person. So I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna be sharing all the tips that I learned as a 29 year old to somebody and it really help. But I, I also wanna have a research, right? I wanna know what are people in that age group who really, really struggling with, maybe that I'm not even thinking about. It tells me the typical fears of someone in that age group, the fear of maybe career goals. I deal with that myself. So yeah, that, that makes sense. Check, right? Number two way that I use ChatGPT is everything from content planner to like my YouTube descriptions. And let me explain. So I go into ChatGPT, I say, listen, this is my niche. My niche is fashion, content creation, and personal development. Those are my three main topics. Create a content planner for a month. And I'm gonna read it to you guys because and I'm gonna um, in insert like a screenshot of it or like a video of me showing this. My audience is focused on fashion. They may be focused on building a brand through social media and definitely, definitely focus on personal development because regardless of fashion or anything, that's the main thing that really matters here. That is my audience. And you can even go as far as to say, hey, you know what? I like that you created like a listed thing for me, but really I want you to put it into a posting matrix. Tell you, it's so amazing. You can tell it to give you the titles of the videos that you should use. And you can say make it SEO optimized, highly rankable for a new content creator. Then you say, hey, this influencer needs to reach out to a certain brand. 
the brand you know recently i've been reaching out to h&m mango all of those brands that i that i show on my account nerd wallet always using final cut pro to edit my videos so those people that i reached out to i use chat gp2 yet telling hey run this website and and use their vision their mission their goals to write me a brand pitch to work with them on their new campaign for fall three major ways that i've been doing this is pitches brand deals management um email responses all the the financial the legalities that side of my business because we're talking about the creative part now i do think having a team is important but you're not like overcome with the amount of work that you need to do anymore because you literally have a system that is one of the most knowledgeable systems out there of course always double check everything you get on chat gpt do not take it for law do your research double check the answers that you receive from it but it is a very powerful tool to have in your corner like there's no excuse to say i can't get it done I, I just can't run my business i just can't you know build my brand online i just can't do it like you're lying you're lying i mean people got it done when chat wasn't there so what's your excuse now you know what i mean but i get it trying something new doing something you've never done before it can be scary it can be scary and that's okay like obviously i'm here that's why i'm having this whole like talk and conversation this whole time but one thing that ChatGPT and ai in general has done is really helped me a lot now ChatGPT is not the only thing out there ChatGPT is just the, one of the freer ones that was like worldwide used by a lot of people i literally had a friend start his business like mind you we're all landscape architects and graphic designers and we know how to use photoshop and all those like design apps and yet we turn to these apps because they make our lives easier why work harder when you can work smarter and i think that's something that's actually interesting that will be a very good conversation is that they're definitely going to be like prompt engineers people who are so good at doing prompts that like that's their job and honestly like if i could be a prompt engineer i will take it like i love it i love to work with a prompt i love to see how i can tweak it and make it happen and make it what i want it to be outside of content creation ai is something that you can use in any field that you're in like i've used it to find itineraries for going out in miami as a miami native pretty much i wasn't born here but i was raised here but ai is not your enemy like obviously i'm gonna be talking about ai in the aspect of content creation and like running a business but just in your regular day-to-day -day life ai is here to make your life easier as long as you're not duplicating and making a clone of yourself that has a whole sentient being in like an egg like in a black mirror episode i think it should be fine if you are not using it or you are scared of it the potential is too great for you to be scared like it's too great people are literally using chat gpt to create apps having no background experience at all in creating you in user experience or programming at all and they literally create apps just by getting prompts correct like these are things that could legitimately change our future and you could be you could be a game changer you could literally solve problems for our future just by using it like i know it's crazy to say but it's legit like yeah you don't have to have all the knowledge that you thought you had to have to make something of yourself anymore you just have to get good at asking a question and you can tell the program to tell you what you're missing in the question like how like how easy is that legitimately save time and energy while still making progress on your career and your personal life simply by asking an almost all-knowing machine again it's not all-knowing because you have to double check it but for the most part it's been on point like if I'm, I'm telling you right now like if you're not trying chat gpt like i don't even want to talk about it all i want to hear about in the comments is tell me how to do it show me prompts oh i need help with my career or my business tell me that because i don't want to hear i'm scared of what it's a computer programming and i'm saying that ai couldn't be sent here one day but are you evil do you have evil intent if you're not evil and all you're using it for is to help make your life better, you're not like, how can I plot to take over a city? Like, there's no reason for you to be scared. You're not evil. Unless you are evil, then you should be scared. You should be scared. But if you're not evil and you just want to use this to help your career, use this to help your personal growth, use this to just help you in content creation and all the things that I use it for, which are all those things that I said, if you want to use it for those things 
explore it. See where you're comfortable and where you're not. Get better at your prompts. That's the biggest thing, get better at the prompt. Because if people say, oh, it's not really giving me good answers. Are you asking good questions? So yeah, I hope you guys like this type of videos because like I love them so much more. Like I love to talk like this and like I feel it's way more fun. But yeah, until next time, 